I saw a Twitter post come up today where apparently Elon Musk or, or what have you had disclosed that the FBI has been uh, uh, looking looking in, at, at people's DMs. All right. So this is what I'm talking about right here. Uh, it uh, comes from Paul Sperry, you know, and, you know, he's, uh, as you can see, uh, he's a reporter over at uh, Real Clear Investigations, New York Post columnist, so on and so forth. And he says, breaking, Elon Musk disclosed that the FBI and other federal agents had full access to conservative Twitter users' private DMs before he took over the platform. This is the most alarming considering that FBI and other law enforcement age, uh, law enforcement officer whistleblowers have relayed tips to journalists through DMs. Um, so, what, what are your what are your what are your thoughts on on that revelation? Uh, definitely concerning. Um, also, the question: Did it say specifically who was who was in particularly targeted with this? Well, what it, types it, of people? It's, it's, it's so said conservatives. Conservative. Yeah, conservative Twitter users, private private DMs. Well, I kind of just presume somebody has eyes on everything to some yeah. degree. But I don't know, big daddy government snooping in my DMs. It's just, I don't know. It's shocking, but it's not surprising at the same time. Well, yeah, I don't it's, know. it's one of those things where, you know, you, you've always got those OTLs, like those obey the law people like, well, if you had nothing to hide, what do you care? It's like, yeah. you know, I don't know. Maybe I don't want people sniffing my fucking underwear. I, I'm not saying there's any shit in it, but I don't want you sniffing my drawers. How about that? You know, can. Because they're can mine. We, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. What, what is it? Oh, uh, all right. Uh, oh, <laughs> Alexa, water glowies. <laughs> oh, no. I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Griffey say, all right, I got to run. Date night with the fiance, got to watch Amer oh, American Idol. Yeah, that is that is definitely normie. Yeah, and, and Griffey saying, Alexa, it, it's a fed. Uh, <laughs> it, it is it is definitely a fed. And, I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll, you know, there, it, it, I would love to be able to play the video, like some of the old compilations of that dude. The the stream would get yanked. Like, the, the <laughs> just snoop, just gone yeah yeah just completely um uh, but yeah I, I do find it unsettling because there there are some things that are shared by dm number one that that are of an extremely personal nature uh and also if you're conspiring to turn somebody into authorities who may be a person in power and then the authorities are able to see that and maybe it's the type of authorities you don't want seeing it mm -hmm. what if you're you know conspiring to to turn in a, a dirty fed or a dirty law enforcement officer, or a corrupt politician, and you're swapping right. messages with somebody via Twitter DMs, and you have people in power that can see it and get ahead of the matter, yeah. or find a way to screw with you. I don't like that. You know? No, no one should. Well, yeah, and, and it also raises unsettling fourth amendment concerns and the reason why you know i i say that you know first amendment fourth amendment stuff like that <clears throat> is tech platforms are in this unique position where if we utilize their service to exchange messages the government if they want to see our messages our exchanges learn about our conversations they no longer have to go to a court and as for a subpoena, they can just go to the intermediary, uh, intermediary the, mm -hmm. the platform, and say, hey, can you show me this? And more often than not, these platforms will just do it. They well, want they're, in they're not they're not a regulatory agency that can regulate a government agency. Like, you know, they're they're not the police. The government asks for something, and they're gonna be like, okay, sure. <laughs> like that's just how I would envision it anyway. Hey, this is Greg Coy from the breakdown. If you're new here and checking out the channel on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitter at Greg Hoyt L-E-T.